Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, so I wanted to do a short tutorial on uh, using the measuring tools in Lightburn. And they're not quite as cut and dried as you might think. And, and sometimes I forget about them and don't use them or don't use them properly. So I thought we'd run through that. So if you look off to the left, uh, this is called the creation tools. And if you don't see them, if you don't have a ruler, if you don't see any of these, go up to Window and down to Tools and make sure Tools is selected. Now once you have it, uh, you can move it around. If you put your cursor on top, on these little dots, you'll get this uh, four arrows. You can left click and drag it out. And then anywhere that you move it that turns blue, you can, you can put your tools there. So the ruler's been around, as far as I know, since the beginning of Lightburn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but they've added some features in 1.5 uh, that I think will be helpful. Uh, so we will just draw out, we're going to draw a squiggly line. So I'm going to get the, the pencil tool, and I'm just going to draw, click, draw, click, draw, and just draw this out here, and let go of it, left click, and then click the selector tool. Let me move this down a little bit, move it in, and like I always say, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out, push it down and move your entire canvas around. I moved my camera to a different spot down here in the bottom left so because uh, I, I would find myself often putting something behind my head and I'm trying to figure out how to not do that so I hope this helps. So with this line we can go over to the ruler or uh, you can push uh, Alt-M uh, let me get the pop-up. Went to another screen. And this will pop up. And uh, with that open, you can scroll over. And the purple portion, you'll get the measurements for. Segment length, start point, end point. And everything else will remain green. And you can do this for any segment. So if you're doing a uh, working on a really complicated project, uh, this would come in handy. So let's do it with something else. Let's uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way, make it small, give us a little more room, and we'll grab a circle. So I'm gonna push Shift and just draw out a proportionate circle. And we're going to push Alt-M this time, if I can find it, Alt-M, <clears throat> and we get our window. Now, I'm going to click the selector tool because uh, maybe I did it. Okay, so now it's going to show in segments, quartered segments for this circle. And... It just as a quick sidebar, if you really wanted to break that circle into segments, you could go to Arrange and down to Break Apart or Alt-B, click, and then this circle will come apart. And that's, uh, that could be really handy with some projects. Quick sidebar, but useful. All right, we're going to select this. I'm going to make it small, pull it out of the way. And then we're going to do a square. So we're grabbing a square, shift, draw it out proportionately, hit the selector tool. Now we know uh, the measuring tool up top, uh, according to this, is 
101 millimeters. And that's easy enough to keep track of. But if you were to make a slightly different shape, let's go up to Tools, down to Warp, Warp Four Points. If we drag this in to give it a slight 3D look or a twisted look, hit our Selector tool. Notice if we select it, it's still 101 width and height. Well, if we go get our ruler or push Alt-M, we roll over these lower segments and you can see the segment length. It's right here. It changes when I, when I move, but uh, it's 101. But if you go to the section that we've distorted, it's 77.48. So it is different from what reads up top. Uh, so that would come in handy if you're, whatever you're working with, and it could be anything at any time. We all do different stuff, working with our lasers and light burn. And light burn is forever giving us new uh, functions to use. Uh, but like I said, as far as I know, this was around, uh, this, this measuring ability has been around since the beginning. Uh, now one other part of that is if we click our ruler or we push Alt-M and you hold Shift and Up, Shift and Up is what I'm looking for, you can draw out a line and it will move and lock vertical, horizontal, and on 45. Let me see if I can get this moved out of the way some. We'll draw us another line. Shift and up arrow. That thing's going nuts. Shaking over there. But, and you can see it moves like a clock and locks in place for whatever uh, needs you may have for that. Now, if, uh, if you just wanted to drag a line, now that we just done was added in version 1.5. But prior to 1.5, you could select your ruler and just click and drag and get a measurement of a certain area if you needed it, like that. But uh, I think you get the idea, and uh, I think that's pretty helpful. Uh, and I believe, I believe that's it. So short and sweet, but helpful, hopefully. And if anyone knows uh, more, has more to add to this, uh, just drop it in the comments, please. I appreciate the comments because uh, they make me think a little more. And they, uh, they help me learn, and I believe it helps all the viewers uh, with the video coupled with the comments, and it just helps us all to get smarter with light burn and working with our lasers, and I really appreciate it. So I appreciate you taking time to watch. I hope you did learn something. Uh, just check back often for new videos. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.